Well, hey everybody, it's Tom here. Welcome back to my shop. So, haven't made much progress on the boring mill. Been working hard. Got all the paint off. Got the paint off on the tailstock, except for the underneath side. Got to flip that over. Been scrubbing, getting the grime off. There's more nooks and crannies on this thing than you would believe. You know, the main body and column are real easy because it's just flat real estate. But over here, back where the gearbox and stuff is, man, it's such a pain. But, uh, you know, making a little bit of progress. Hopefully, uh, get this thing wiped down it one more time and then I can start putting some primer on it. So, next video, you actually see a little bit of color on the machine. And one of the viewers mentioned instead of doing white highlights, doing black highlights. And I kind of like that better because, you know, white's going to look dirty real quick. So picked up a quart of black gloss paint. So we'll do the highlights in that, you know, like uh, thinking about uh, the bottom base down there and the handles and, you know, whatever. They'll just end up black. So hopefully that'll look pretty good. Let me uh, grab the camera and show you a couple things. And got an announcement on uh, Mr. Chaos there. And got a couple uh, channel stickers that came in from other YouTube creators I want to show you. So just kind of a little mixed bag of stuff. I figured I'd throw this together so we'd have a video this week. So uh, hang on and uh, let me do a walk around. Lighting isn't the greatest over here, but you can see the struggle I've been going through. I mean, look at all this nooks, crannies, curves, hidden spots. And then a lot of this just had caked on oil and grime. That's from the underneath. So I had to get that off first and then needle scale it. And then I've been using the super clean with the brush and scrubbing it and then wiping it off. And on the bad spots, like in this area here and also in the middle of the bed. I've cleaned that thing and scrubbed it three times already. So it's been a lot of work, but we're getting there. So getting excited about that. But let me show you a couple cool finds over here. So when I got the mill, the previous owner stated that he searched for years and years to try to find an original manual for the mill. At some point he was able to score this uh, photocopy, which is pretty good. I mean, the fold outs aren't bad. The only thing that uh, isn't the greatest, I don't know if you can see this, it's pretty washed out, you know. I mean, can't really tell on the nomenclature where some of these arrows go if you're not actually looking in the in front of the boring mill itself. So it's just kind of a black blob. But so lo and behold, I scored an original manual. This was on eBay. Seller had this with a couple other Defiance boring mill manuals. This is for the five and the five A. He had a couple for the 25 and 25 A, which those are larger machines. So really excited to actually score the original manual. And you can see it's a photocopy or the printing, should I say, is you know, a lot better than uh, that photocopy. It's not really washed out. You can actually see some stuff. So pretty cool. It was kind of expensive. I got the seller to knock off 25 bucks, but I still had to uh, pay a pretty penny for it. I figured I'd never see another one again since these mills are kind of scarce to begin with. So, you know, you know, these manuals are even scarcer. So pretty neat to find the actual original manual. Really excited about that. And on the same lines, eBay's been good to me. I got, check this out. This is actually a book. I mean, this is back in the day when businesses actually took really good pride in their products, you know, and reflects it and put it in, in a book instead of the cheesy catalogs we see today. So this is catalog number 194 of the Defiance Machine Works. Fortunately, this is all woodworking equipment. You know, they didn't get into the uh, metalworking machines until about the start of uh, World War I, right before it. But it's still just an awesome book. Now, the binding is kind of roached. But you can see the 
family members, the kitten rings that ran the business. There's the actual plant itself. So they did everything in-house. Got the foundry there. You know, that's the factory that would make the stuff. Obviously you got the machine shops over there that would machine the stuff. And they even had, I'll go through some cool pictures. So these are the offices. Where they would test each individual piece of equipment before they send it out. Let me show that so you can see that cool big old pointer right there. And some of the machine stop stuff, machine shop stuff, all belt driven because this is you know 1800s. You guys can see that. So there's the testing room, so where they actually test each machine before they send it out. And it, like I said, it just goes through showing everything that they make. I mean, think, you know, this stuff was probably hand drawn for the illustrations. And then, of course, he gives a description of each machine, talks about everything. So, pretty cool book. So, I am filming this Tuesday. You guys will see this video Wednesday. But today is Mr. Chaos's birthday. He is five years old, and he is... Uh, you know, happy to be a shop dog and of course I'm trying to film this and he's like let's play daddy so after we have a good day in the shop today when we go up for dinner he's got a nice sirloin steak so he's gonna be eating good tonight aren't you buddy so I know everybody's gonna wish you a happy birthday so say thank you everybody I appreciate hanging out in the shop and being on YouTube of course you know throw my toy <laughs> All right, birthday boy, you get plenty of throws a day. And lastly, I had a couple stickers come in the shop from fellow YouTube creators. So I want to give a couple shout outs. First one is Nobby's Workshop. Nobby Clark, he's over there in the UK. He's got a, a small shop. He's got a couple lathes. You know, he's got a Myford lathe, a Chinese lathe, bench top mill, and of course, you know, all the hand tools and stuff that goes with it. So I'll go over there and check out Nobby's channel. I know he'd appreciate it. And if you like what you see, give him a sub. And another fellow YouTube creator in the UK, that's uh, Kev, Kevin Willis goes by Mr. Factotum's workshop. I ran across Kevin's channel when he was doing a refurbish of his ADAP shaper. He has a whole series on that, so that's pretty cool. If you guys like shapers, check that out. And he also is into trains. So if you want to see you know, how to make you know, smaller scales of train stuff, uh, you know, give him a look. If you like what you see, give him a sub. I know he'd appreciate it also. And I have also redesigned my stickers. So figured I'd kind of update it. If you like what you see and if you want a sticker, send me an email. Doesn't matter if you are not a creator, if you're just a viewer and you want to stick one on your toolbox or you know somewhere in the shop, you know, send me an email and I'll send you out a sticker. Doesn't matter where you are, anywhere in the world, I'll post it to you. So with that, I think that's gonna be a wrap. Like I said, just a short one. I figured I'd put something together so we'd have a video this week. I think next week is going to actually be a uh, video on a paying project. The guy that I did the generator work for, he's uh, he brought me something. 
I'm just waiting on some material to come in. So if it comes in this weekend, then uh, I can get started on it, and hopefully that'll be next Wednesday's video. And then after that, we'll get back on the boring mill because I should have some paint by then. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the quick one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, all you new subscribers. Hey, thanks for finding my channel, hanging out with me. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It really helps my little channel grow. We're getting close to 5,000. So when we hit that 5,000 mark, you know, that's a great milestone. And also, I've got a bunch of goodies, so we'll do a little draw so I can give back to you guys. So until next time, take care. We'll see you. Bye.